the ghosts have a treadmill in this mansion that they built. A tre you need legs to run on a treadmill, but the ghosts don't have legs. Hey everybody, it's MechMaster14, and we are starting off by finding a gold bar in that lamp that I forgot to check in the last episode. Uh, welcome back to more Luigi's Mansion. In the last episode, we started the third area by uh, tackling the ghost of Arnold Schwarzenegger. It, 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 it wasn't Arnold Schwarzenegger. It was actually... His name is actually Biff Atlas. You can see right here. But uh, we also got kind of unlucky with the booze last time because in this room... Oh, wait, is he back? He might actually be back. I didn't know ghosts could actually return to the rooms that they came from. That's a ball. Don't troll me like this. Okay, they actually can come back. Mr. Boo Jangle. Alright, I thought I was actually going to escape again. Get those booze before. Now send me the data you've got. Be careful, Luigi. Oh, we also got the ice element metal in this room. I think I don't think there's anything in there. Anyways, let's head into this dark hallway. Nothing, nothing. Wait, I think some of these are actually bluff bases. I remember, I remember actually getting gold bars out of, out of these in um, my first playthrough. Or my playthrough I did right before I did this playthrough. Anyways, where should we go this time? Uh, let's go into this room first. This is Nana's room, I believe. Yeah, it's Nana's room. Now let's actually scan her heart, since we haven't really been doing that. Hey, it's a funny man. Should I play with him? Yeah, this is why I haven't really been scanning hearts. They don't really reveal any good information. Because that really doesn't give us a clue as to how we're supposed to defeat her. But what I do know what we have to do first is this. Don't get away. Come on. Where are you? Yes, gotcha! I swear I was shining my flashlight right on him. Why didn't I... Eh, whatever. We got him. He dropped two gold bars, and that's all I care about. Anyways, what you needed to do to actually fight Nana... You actually need to take these balls of yarn and shoot her with them. So there's three balls of yarn and you have to shoot her with them. And if you actually get if you actually collide with a ball of yarn, you'll actually get stunned. Which is annoying as hell. Anyways, once you hit her three times, you can start sucking her up. That, that was a bad cycle. Oh. Alright, you don't need to keep doing it. Once you... Once you shot her three times with balls of yarn... This... You can start touching her up. And actually, something else important to know. If you miss on any one of them, she'll actually disappear and you have to uh, leave the room and come back in. Mario! Oh, I like it when Luigi just screams, Mario! Anyways, got ourselves a key to... Oh, it's actually the room right next to the first area hallway. And we have the Zingy Limbooger. Ah, uh, he's down the hallway. Where'd he go? He's in here? 
I'm not even supposed to be in this room yet. This guy's annoying. I will capture him even if I have to do it like this. Come on. I don't want to have to fight you in the dark. You don't take as much damage in the dark. Can you please go back into Nana's room? Stop this nonsense. Alright, he went into he went into the like parlor in the first area, so I'll have to get him there. But what I wanna do now, now that, that annoying fight's over. I want to go in here, where it looks like there's a lady behind that shower curtain. So let's be a creepy pervert and actually go over this way. So we put ice in our bath and then, then we can start doing that. Can we get us in one shot? Don't take me into the poison mushroom! Thank you. Ooh, more health, gimme. We're already back up to 83. And we get a key. Oh yeah. <laughs> and this is, since this is the bathroom area, there is no boo in here. And that key is the final room on the first floor. Mm -hmm. Or the final two rooms, I guess I should say. Anyways, let's get into this room now. You're gonna need a water element, just trust me on that. Because this is actually the Gold Ghost version of the Icy Purple Punchers that we saw in the first area. Except this one actually requires water for you to feed it since its, ice, since its heart is uh, sealed off with fire. There we go. I actually, I actually believe there's something behind this poster. Get out of here, and it's a bow. Okay, okay. I'll leave this room just like you told me. I actually think that uh, yellow ghost that I just sucked up is actually based on a scrap ghost in this game called the Sneaker. Also, now we're gonna need this fire on it. Uh, basically what the sneaker would do is sneak up behind Luigi in one of these dark hallways, scare him, and reduce his health by half. Mm -hmm. It was really annoying to, for it to kill you in two hits and lose half your health from one hit, so that's why the sneaker was never actually in the game. Anyways, the reason I wanted the fire element is because in this room that we were fighting the boo in, there's some candles that we have to light. And if we light all of them and stand in the middle of this area... We have to fight a gold ghost... A shy guy ghost... And that's basically how this room works. And I also said that you won't always find Shy Guy Ghosts in pairs. This is one of those instances where you're not finding them in pairs. Let's get rid of this guy at least. I was really, I was really hoping to get the Grabber Ghost. Uh, I was really going to get rid of the Grabber Ghost, but I guess we're not doing that. I know he doesn't do that much damage, but he can really disrupt your suction cycles, you know, when you're sucking up ghosts. Again, I really like the sounds they make when you're when you actually start capturing them. Anyways, there's also a boo in this room. Oh yeah. That's a bomb. Mario! Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Ooh, money. Yeah. 
Schönschlager Pöhl. Don't escape. Really hate how boosting jump rooms in this game. Thank God they got rid of that in the next Luigi's Mansion games. Your reputation is spreading now. Send me the boo data you've got. All right, we're up to 18 out of 50 boos. And now in this room, go bar. We're in the observatory. Mario. And we look out of this flashlight, yeah. or not flashlight, uh, telescope. I know what it's called. We see the moon, and apparently this entire wall was just an illusion because we can now see the moon. And what we need to do with the moon is shoot it. We need to take these uh, yellow meteorites that slowly fall down and shoot the moon. And I've played this game perhaps 20 times by now, and this part never gets easier. Like seriously, it looked like I was going to go wide left, but I went wide right instead. Alright, that's gotta be a hit. There we go. When we shoot the moon, it obviously blows up. And now we can get a star. And don't worry, you can't fall off this path. It looks like you can, but you can't. <laughs> also, I know that the star... I know the painting sound effect that they use to cl for collecting Mario's items in this game is reused from Super Mario 64, but I do like how with that star, it actually does feel like you're collecting an actual star from Super Mario 64. Hmm. Anyways, now I believe I want to go back to the... I want to go back to the room on the second floor that we got the key to this time. I don't want to go into the final part of the first floor because... Well, I, I just want to save that for the next episode. And also, I, wa I really want to capture that boo that went into the parlor. And if you don't remember what the parlor is, it's just the room... It's the room up here, the, the first room that we caught a ghost in. Actually, no way, it didn't go into the part. It went into the anteroom. room. Hmm? There we go. Don't go back. It's already been enough of a headache to capture you just now. I have a special bit of information here. There's some ghosts other than Boo. You not see I'm pretty sure they're freed from the paintings. The ghost artist Van Gore. The first time I capture him, the artist drives the life from their canvases, but this guy brought ghosts to life and every time he picked up a brush. Alright, he just gives us information that we're not going to need to know right now. Be careful, Luigi. Mario! Alright, now let's actually head into that room. Hmm? It's this room right here, which is the first room we've needed a key for in this episode. And before we do anything... <laughs> Beanie Spirit in the bunk bed. I know everything's up there! Thank God we can actually collect everything. Come on. It's like one dollar. There we go. And now the thing we need to do in this room, other than collect more cash from that lamp. Is we need to spin this helicopter thing. Not burn it. And when we spin it enough, this happens. Hey mister. 
What are you doing over there all by yourself? Hey, why don't you play hide and seek with us? Haha. <laughs> okay, let's play. Yay! Okay, we're gonna hide now. Wait outside. Hmm. Okay, you can come in now. Jeez, you are very quick hiders. And now there are five boxes all throughout the room. What we need to do is... Walk up to each one and use your vacuum on it. If it shakes, that means there's someone hiding inside. This one's shaking, so that means one of them is hiding in it. Not bad, mister. And when I first played this game, I thought I would really struggle on this part because I always thought it was just a random guessing game and not an actual strategy behind it. Hey, that's not, that's not fair. Play right, you cheater. Anyways, this is Henry and Orville. Now, once you beat them in a game of hide-and-seek, they get out these planes and cars that you need to suck up. And then you can actually start attacking them. I don't know which is Henry and which is Orville, but... Uh, we're sucking both of them up. And also getting smaller. Hey, I was nowhere near that bomb. Also, when you're smaller, you can't use your vacuum, so just be careful of that. Hey, don't drop all your pearls up there. There we go. You got a big pearl. Nice. Very successful boss battle. Anyways, this is a red chest, so this gives us Mario's shoe. Smells like Mario's feet. Now the boo, is it hiding on this thing? Yeah, it is. Boorus. Thanks, Boorus. You damaged me right off the bat. Now you're going to die extra hard. There we go. We're already up to 20 boos. You're cruising, Luigi. Yes, I am cruising. Be careful, Luigi. I will. Ooh, more money in here. Jeez, these kids saved up all of their money, hid it from their parents, and I just took it all. Also, are these actual pictures of them? Very creepy pictures, but they are pictures of them. Also, why did Henry and Orval count as two separate ghosts, but not the Floating World Len does? Like, the floating world ended as each cow and as one goes, they shared the same heart, but Henry and Orville had two separate hearts. Anyways, that's all the time we're going to have for this episode. Next time on Luigi's Mansion, we're going to be checking out the final room on the first floor that we have not visited yet, and hopefully getting something awesome there. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you can, like, comment, and subscribe, because I'd really help out the channel. Mm -hmm. And I'll see you guys next time. McMaster, out. Mario!